Hey, John Rizzo here. Going to give you a quick tour of clips, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we do is upload a sample video. I've already created a project called Clip Sales Example. Now we click on the project button and select Upload Video. Then click on the Browse button to locate the video. Now click Upload. While it's uploading, let's go and create a new product that will display at the end of the video. To sell a product, just click on the Sell Product tab at the top. Then click on the Add Product button and select Sell New Product. I will go ahead and copy paste some sales information. We'll start with the title, then set the initial price to $1. Let's make sure we check Stripe and PayPal, as they are the processors we're using. Now we'll paste the description, and then add your custom email message that is sent to your customer on completion of the sale. We don't require your address, but if you're selling physical products, you should check Require Address. We offer different types of product delivery as well. This includes uploading your digital product or adding a secure link to access your product delivery page. The more tech savvy or power users who need direct integration into the system, we offer webhook support. This is what we're using, so we'll check that. And of course, don't forget to save the product. Now let's look back at the upload window. As you can see, the video is now transcoding. What that means? is we're converting your video into all the necessary formats for playback on every device. Now that the video is done transcoding, let's click on the play button. This opens your video right into our video builder. So let's start by adding the product we just created to the end of this video. Click on the post roll setup. This will give you a list of available calls to action for the end of your video. Let's scroll down to payment post roll and click select. Now we'll click Configure. If this is the first time adding PayPal or Stripe to a video, you will need to add the Stripe keys and your PayPal address. We will select the product we just created and click Save. Let's go ahead and play the video. We'll skip towards the end, see our payment post roll in action. Wow, isn't that cool? Let's say we now wanted to add email capture to the front of the video. Just click Pre-roll Setup and select MailChimp from the list. Click Configure. You only have to enter your MailChimp API key once. Now let's enter for the text above. And for the text below, we'll add, we never spam you. And just to be kind, let's allow the user to skip the email capture. And again, don't forget to hit Save. Now let's add a Buy Now button to the video. One of the cool features of Clips is you can add multiple calls to action inside the video, which we call Live Buttons. We click on Set Up Ad under Live Buttons and scroll down to the Payment Live button and click Select. We click on Configure. You can now see the Stripe and PayPal info is preloaded from before. Now this is how you configure a Live Button. We add button text, choose the button color, text size, the position from the top and left, as well as the start and end times based on where in your video you want the button displayed in seconds. And finally, we select the product and save. Now let's play the whole video. We skip the email capture. Now let's click on the new buy now button. There you go. You can now buy the product directly from the video. They can also close the prompt and continue watching the video. Marketing your video is essential to your success. Clips makes it easy to share your videos on your favorite social networks. Your videos can include social media share buttons to make it easy for you and your viewers to share your videos and go viral. Let's add Facebook, Google+, LinkedIn, and Pinterest. To show how easy it is to post to your networks, let's start sharing this video on Facebook. Notice the thumbnail is automatically added with a link to your Clips video. Say something about the video, then click the Share Link button. Now let's go see how it looks on Facebook. Look at how awesome it looks in your timeline. Now let's click on the Play button and see where it takes us. Right to a full page view of your video. Notice at the bottom the social share buttons. Now let's imagine one of your friends really enjoyed your video and wants to share it with his Google Plus friends. Now let's go over to Google Plus, and there it is. Let's click on the thumbnail, and once again, the beautiful full screen video. Real quick, it's the same process for LinkedIn and for Pinterest. 
I hope you enjoyed our clips demo. And remember, this is only a small sample of the features and functionality available from Clips. Thank you.